guys, so today I am doing an experiment um, and I thought I would turn on the camera to share it with you and we'll all see how this works out. I bought some carrots and I bought some, hold on, I'm putting on some gloves, hold on. I don't want my hands to turn orange from the carrots. <laughs> And I bought some um, Genio 99% lean turkey meat. So what my experiment is, is I'm going to shred up a couple carrots and I'm not going to take the peel or anything off. I, I washed them off because um, all the nutrients are in the peel and the dogs don't care if the peel's on it. So I'm going to try and shred these um, carrots up. I don't know how it's, well, I've never shredded carrots before. I've always just diced them. So, let's see. How big a shreds will this be? Oh yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to shred up a couple carrots. I guess I didn't need a glove on this hand. Let's see how much that gives me. I'll speed this up for you guys. There's one carrot. Let me put that in a bowl. Now what my plans are is to shred a couple carrots up and then make, use the turkey, mix in the carrot and make, I don't know what shape I'm gonna do. I don't know if I'm gonna do little balls or what and I was gonna dehydrate them and see if I can make little turkey uh, bites for the boys for treats um, when I'm giving them their Apoquil or Max's meds or something like that. I know I'm gonna have to store them in the um, refrigerator, I'm assuming, since it's gonna be meat. I don't know how um, dehydrated I can get. So I'm going to shred up this other carrot and then see if I need another carrot. So I will be right back. Okay, so I've got my um, turkey meat and two carrots shredded up and I'm going to mix them together. I don't know if this is going to work out guys, but hey, I saw where some people were um, doing this and they were using like a sausage filler tool and they were making like long um like links on their dehydrator and they turned out so I thought I don't have anything to make like long links or anything like that I wish I had like one of those uh, cake decorating tools I could fill the filling in it and then just squirt it out <laughs> but I've got a little cookie scooper here and I'm going to what kind of shape I want to make them into. I don't know. But that way my co my cookie scoop, I can get them all pretty much the same size so they dehydrate um, the same. One carrot may have been enough. Two carrots might have been maybe too much. Not sure. So, let's get this mixed up. And let's get our dehydrator. Let's get a tray on there. I'm trying not to get it all dirty with my gloves. Um, let's scoop. I hope you guys can see. I'm kind of winging this right now. <laughs> get my cookie scooper. And I kind of want to flatten them out. They don't have to be perfectly round or anything, but I want to get them pretty flat. So, like that. And then I'm going to lay them on here. I got the leanest turkey um, to keep them low fat. 
So let me get this all filled up with little pieces of turkey and carrot, and then we'll be back. And you want to space them. You don't want them real close together when you're putting these on your dehydrator. That way the airflow uh, gets around there. So they dehydrate nice and even. So I'm going to make them all about the same thickness and we'll be back once I get them all uh, on the trace and I'll turn this baby on. Okay guys, so I've got all my uh, turkey meat with the carrots, shredded carrots, all kind of flattened out and they're all about the same thickness, not the same size. They're not perfectly round, but who cares? <laughs> so I got three trays out of that pound of turkey and the two carrots. And I think two carrots is probably a good ratio now that I um, have been messing with it and flattening them out. So three trays and this is the dehydrator I have. It does not have a um, high or low or a temperature setting. I got it at a thrift store for like five bucks. <laughs> Just has it on off so it is 2 30 and it'll be 2 30 in about three minutes so I'm gonna turn that on I'm gonna put it over here to my corner and once they're done I'll let you know how long it took to dehydrate them and I'll let you know if it's a, a win or a fail <laughs> we'll let the dogs try them out we'll see how they turn out so we will be back Okay guys, it is the next day and my chicken chip, or not chicken, turkey, don't hit the tripod, my turkey chips took eight hours. And oh, <laughs> here's what they look like. Now, I wish they were a tad bit thicker, tad bit, so I think if I make them again, which I think I'm going to go get another package. Um, I still have carrots. I think I'm going to go get another package. And I'm going to see if they have the chicken in. They didn't have the lean chicken in um, at my store. So I'm going to see if they have that and try chicken. <laughs> now I'm trying to show the viewers. I'm trying to show our friends. And I'm not going to be so lazy. <laughs> get back. I'm not going to be so lazy. And I'm going to um, make it more rounded. These aren't sharp. I don't want to say they're sharp, but just I just want to make them more rounded. So, yeah, so here's how they turned out. And to be honest with you, I gave the boys one last night. I just didn't film because it was late. <laughs> yes, okay, okay. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. Now, I made these because if you remember... Um, a couple videos ago, a kind subscriber sent me a birthday gift and sent the boys. Oh, you dropped some. Um, sent me a birthday gift and sent the boys some chicken chips. And they loved those chicken chips. When I looked on Amazon for the Prime, uh, they were quite expensive for the chicken chips. And I thought, why can't I make those myself? Now, the chicken chips that... Um, the subscriber sent for them did not have carrots in it, but I thought, why not put some carrots in it for a little bit of more, you know, nutrition. Um, but they were, of course, a little bit thicker than this and, um, rounder on the edge. So I think I'm going to take my time and not be so, so quick about it. Come over here. Come over here. Come here, Maggie. Come over here. Um, and make another batch. But they love these. And Kitten loves them too. I'll have to show you. Um, there's yours. And there's yours. So I'm going to get another thing of chicken or turkey. And I'm going to make another batch. And then show you how those turn out before I put this video up on YouTube. But yes. Very happy with them though. Even though they're, I want them a little thicker and rounder. So yeah. And the boys love them. Okay. We'll be back after I make my next batch. So I'm going to try these, um, what I'm calling turkey and carrot chips for the boys. I got, um, another pound of the 99% lean, uh, ground turkey. And I, instead of using my box grater, I use this one here. This like little zesting 
handheld one and made the carrots a little finer. Because I noticed in the other ones I made that the um, carrot pieces were kind of sticking out and then there were like hard little pieces around um, the chip. So what are you squeaking that ball for? <laughs> They just came in from running around outside. So there, I think that's Magnum. <laughs> he can entertain himself really good. <laughs> yeah, so you're going to hear squeaking. I apologize. <laughs> All right, let me get this turkey meat in here. I was going to get the um, chicken, ground chicken breast, but I think the turkey's a lot leaner, less fatty. So, so when I was looking at the ground turkey, I'm um, sorry, the ground um, chicken breast, it was, um, it had more skin in it. So I went with the turkey. This, uh, this pound of ground turkey, it wasn't on sale. It's the um, Jenny O, I think. It was $5.99 for one pound. Kind of expensive, but I don't want my dogs to have high fat treats because of their especially Max's pancreatitis issue. No one else has had a pancreatitis um, um, problem, just Max, but I don't want any of them to. So I've decided I need to start making their treats. I will go through um, the treats I have, but I want to start making them their treats again. I got to stop being lazy about it. Not that I'm lazy, just things, you know, life happens and you just Run out of time. Well, I got to make the time, right? Got to make the time. It's important to me. So, I'm going to mix this up really good. Yeah, I like how the carrots are um, in this, um, mixing in this better, being fi more finely grated. This is just an experiment video. Remember, I'm experimenting and I'm sharing it with you as I go along. So, I was looking up, um, chicken or turkey dehydrated turkey treats for dogs and all I really saw were like the um you know taking your big chicken breast and slicing it and dehydrating it like jerky I didn't see any um really to make them like chips like those chicken chips um this uh my subscribe one of the one of you subscribers sent to me for the boys and they really liked those so it's an experiment to try to recreate those so I don't have to buy them and spend more money because <laughs> even this being $5.99 and carrots are cheap, um, this is still cheaper. So I'm going to get my um, cookie scoop again. Let's see. I think it's in my dishwasher. Sorry guys, I'm not prepared as usual. Using my clean hand. I'm still going to portion them out so they're all about the same size. And I'm just not going to press them down as much. And I'm going to... Am I in camera? <laughs> Make them a little more rounded. I'm going to take my time instead of just hurrying up, putting them on there, not taking my time, forming them. They're, can you hear them out there growling at each other? Play growling. Can you hear them in the background? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yes. Day in the life at uh, 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 Schnauzer Mom's house. <laughs> Sounds. Okay. So, kind of like a little mini turkey burger. <laughs> I want those carrot pieces to be pushed in. And they are. I like them shredded um, a lot better. So, I don't know, what is that, about a quarter inch thick? Not sure. But yes, I'm gonna take my time with these. So this may take me a minute to get them all formed and um, put on my trays. So I will come back when I'm all done and let you uh, see how many I got and what they look like. Let's go see, let me take this camera off the tripod. And let's go see what's going on out here. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on out here? Did you guys have some caffeine this morning? What's I mean, what's going on? You guys are crazy. 
<laughs> all right, we'll be back. Okay, we got all our little mini turkey and carrot burgers all on the dehydrator. And these guys, look at Mickey, he's like, what's up there, Mom? What's up there? I smell something good. <laughs> so we got them all formed. They look a lot nicer, guys, don't they? Because I took my time. <laughs> so now I won't have the sharp edges around uh, like I did the last batch I did. So I'm excited to get these going. And it is 12 noon. So this made almost two trays. My last batch, it was the same amount of stuff, just a little bit of extra carrot. that made three trays. But that's, oh, excuse me. That's because I had them all spread out. I had them thinner and uh, bigger shapes all spread out on my trays. So I'm going to put the lid on. What what am I doing, huh? You don't want me to put the lid on? You just want to eat it raw? <laughs> you just want to eat it raw? So I'm going to turn that on. And since they're a tad bit thicker, they may take longer than eight hours like the other ones. I'm not sure. So we will be back later tonight when they are done and let these boys try them out. What do you think? What do you think? You gonna sit there for eight hours? <laughs> you gonna sit there for eight hours and wait for them? Huh? <laughs> All right, we'll be back. Okay guys, my second experiment is over <laughs> and they turned out perfect. Perfect. They took about two, was it two or? Yeah, it was about two, two and a half hours longer than the other ones did because they were a little thicker. But these turned out perfect. They're just like the chicken chips that um, a subscriber sent a while back. Except these are turkey with some carrot in it. The other ones were just chicken. But let me show you the difference <laughs> of me taking my time and having some patience. <sighs> Look at this one. A little bit thinner, a little bit. And, but look at how perfect this one looks. <laughs> it looks like a chip. Here's me with no patience. Jagged edges, which they're not a problem for the boys. They still eat them because they chew them up. But these are so much nicer. Um, and I don't feel scared giving my boys these jagged edges. So pat patience, no patience. <laughs> It's all an experiment guys yes it's all an experiment when you're making dog treats for your boys so these things I'm so happy so now I can make these for the boys and I don't have to order them online and worry about where everything's coming from if the chickens coming from another country that isn't regulated or, or whatever I'm so happy so let me get a couple of these and give them to the boys okay back up Okay, so sorry if the lighting's bad. It's a gloomy, rainy day. It's the next day after I put them in the dehydrator because um, it was late last night when they got done. So, all right. I guess we'll give this one the first one. Here, I'm crunching it. Crunchy, just like those chicken chips. Was this good? Was those good, white face? Was <laughs> were those good? They're like, where's the rest? Marley, all day yesterday, kept going. I'd catch him in the kitchen with his paws up on the counter, looking at the dehydrator. <laughs> you knew something good was in there for you, didn't you? Yes, you did. It's morning, so I got to brush their beard still, but. He knew. He just kept looking. Are they done yet? Are they done yet? <laughs> so there you guys go. Um, try to make some, ch uh, ch either chicken or turkey chips for your dogs. I, I like the turkey butter. I was looking at the, I don't know if I already mentioned this. I may have, I haven't, this is taking a couple day process, so I can't remember what I said, but the chicken breast, when you looked at the ground chicken breast, it seemed to have a lot more skin in with it than the lean, very lean turkey meat. So I'm going to go with turkey meat all the time. And I may try other uh, things in with it. Maybe some green beans. Um, puree up some green beans and try them. Um, some different vegetables. I'm not sure. 
maybe uh, puree, cook up some sweet potatoes and put them in with it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might experiment some more with it. So, yeah. I'm going to try to start making dog treats again. And if you guys want to see more videos of me experimenting, let me know in the comments. And so we'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Um, subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.